come with us as we experience Borden Island for the first time. We've heard great things about this secluded spot, but before making our way over, in true Defender style, there's always a last minute adjustment that needs to be made. Lucky for us, only small tweaks compared to Ollie. Putting the final piece of his build together before heading to the ferry the next morning. What are you making, girl? <laughs> I'm making, well, I've made beef tzatziki bowls with just yumminess, I guess. Yumminess, you say? Um, yeah, I've cooked for everyone tonight, so hopefully everyone enjoys it. Providing the goods. Providing the goods. So nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> We got here in time. The ferry leaves in 10 minutes, but apparently 18 minutes late, you'll still get on. So, thanks guys. <laughs> After almost departing without our good friends, we were stoked to have made it to the other side and finally be driving on the island we've been so eager to venture. Our first stop was the water station as one of us didn't have time to fill up before leaving. We found a leak in Ollie's water tank. While we didn't get the chance to capture it was this fix up, as well as an all too close for comfort encounter with our first red belly snake. Okay. Let's go! Waiting around in the blazing sun, we decided to quickly cool off while he checked over his build, before we reunited again for some fun on the water. First one. Frothing. Oh, well, he's walking. Here we are. It's on. After making the most of our time for day one, we explored some more of the island before heading to where we'll call home for the night. Setting the trucks up and enjoying our first evening together. Waking up to the heat of the day and blue skies blaring, we decide to pack up early and see what the other side of Morton has to offer. Making our way across the sandy island that we've come to learn doesn't actually have real roads, we had a sense of relief after not getting bogged and making it out of some hairy situations. more and more obsessed with this place. We spent some time in our newfound bay enjoying the view, before moving on to what would be an even better location with an unexpected little welcome. What's going on? Um, hopefully the audio is okay because we uh, don't have the mic on, but we've gone down to this beach Beautiful beach. Um, look at the view, looks insane, but now um, we need to try to get back out because it's super soft sand. But at the moment, Ollie is giving it a go, or actually, Satchers. Um, and let's not get bogged because she's some pretty soft sand.
after that high, we were all so keen to soak up the sun and get in the water, where we spent the rest of our days doing blissfully nothing until dusk, exactly how the camping experience should be. the overcast weather stop us on what was our final day on Walton Island before catching the ferry early the next day. We couldn't help ourselves but to surf until our hearts were content. Our visit to Morden was short but sweet and it's safe to say it summed up with us spending the entire time in the water. Until next time Morden Island. <laughs>